everybody. You guys are one good looking rally. I got to tell you, I'm so proud. As the national anthem was going, I looked out and I didn't see any of you kneeling. I'm so proud of you. Listen, it's great to be here with so many of you. I, I'm here with my seven kids and, and my lovely wife, wife, Rachel. You can see her, she's doing a package for Fox and Friends, so feel free to harass her. So I know the president's in the air and he's excited to come to central Wisconsin. Excited. And I gotta tell you what, this campaign, you guys, it's gearing up. Even later this week, Barack Obama is coming to Wisconsin to campaign for the liberal Tammy Baldwin. Now, speaking of Obama, remember when Obama told us that his bad economy was uh, our new normal? And he told us that our manufacturing jobs are never coming back to America? And Obama said, if you want to renegotiate trade deals, renegotiate NAFTA, Trump will need a magic wand. Do you remember that? And now get this. Barack Obama is trying to take credit for this Trump GOP red hot blue collar recovery. Can you believe it? Now, Obama taking credit for our recovery is like Elizabeth Warren taking credit for being a Cherokee Indian. Right? Or it's kind of like the Chicago Bear defense taking credit for a, a Aaron Rodgers touchdown. <laughs> That's how crazy that is. Well, Barack Obama can't fool our Wisconsin workers, our, our farmers, and our families. We lived through eight years of his stagnant economy. And we know his policies didn't work. Now, Donald Trump took over uh, Barack Obama's crappy economy. And two years later, we have an economic powerhouse. Yeah. He did it by putting our workers, our manufacturers, and our farmers first in Wisconsin. Our wages have increased in the last year by 5%. Donald Trump knows that the American dream is made in America. Now, uh, the stakes are high in this election. And if you turn on the TV, you'll see whose side is fighting for what. Democrats... They're fighting for illegal immigrants in a caravan, right? Republicans, we're fighting for families that drive Dodge caravans. Democrats, they want to raise your taxes, right? They want a government takeover of our health care. They want to weaken our military, attack our law enforcement, and they want open borders. And it, yeah, and as we have that 4,500 group of migrant illegals coming through Mexico to our border to come in unlawfully, they want, they want to abolish ICE. Can you believe that? Now, what have we done, Republicans? We want to lower taxes because we believe that you spend your money better than bureaucrats and politicians in Washington. We want to maximize your freedom by reducing rules and regulations. We're rebuilding our military after years of neglect. And because of the help of Donald Trump and Republicans in Congress, America is the number one energy producer in the world. I don't know about you, but when I fill up my car, I love that I don't send my money to some Middle Eastern country that hates us. I send my money to North Dakota or Texas. Isn't that great? They like us there. And finally, we're fighting for better trade deals for our workers and our dairy farmers. And we're taking on China. Listen, if we're going to continue to win, if we're going to continue to make America great again, we're all going to have to work together, call together, knock doors together, talk to our family, our friends, our neighbors, our, cloth, our coffee clutch crew, and we've got to get the word out. And if we all work together, you know this blue wave they've been talking about? They're going to hit a red wall like all those hats out there. What is so important for us is that we have another fighter in the Senate like Ron Johnson. Tammy Baldwin's a liberal who represents Madison values, not our values. We have a great senator in Leah Vukmir who has been spit on. She's been shamed by the liberals. She's a fighter and a scrapper. We need her as a U.S. senator. Oh, and we might need some help out here. 
medical over here in the front. I've got a medical issue here in the front. Hold on, hold on. We've got a medical issue right in front, about three rows back. Just one second. Hey, we have a medical emergency. We need medical right in front. Hello. Right here in front, right to the right of the stage, about four rows back. Yes, create a path. Yes, and create a path and allow them in. All right, everybody. Let's give our first responders and law enforcement a round of applause. We appreciate what they do. I only had five minutes, and now it really went over my time. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's a real honor for me uh, to welcome uh, someone who has fought for us, uh, fought for liberty and freedom and lower taxes and less rules and less regulations, someone who helped grow our Wisconsin with an unemployment rate of less than 3%. The next senator uh, of this great uh, state of Wisconsin. Let's give a warm uh, central Wisconsin welcome to Leah Vukmir. <laughs> 